This is Phineas and Ferb across the second dimension for the Nintendo Wii. A lighthearted kids game based on Disney's Phineas and Ferb series, where you play as characters from the show adventuring through dimensions while fighting Dr. D and his evil robots and lots of things made out of gelatin, I think. It's certainly not that brand name stuff that everyone knows. Phineas and Ferb across the second dimension is your basic action-adventure kids game where players will spend most of their time collecting and battling incredibly easy enemies for things that you can use to upgrade your weapons and unlock uh, stuff. It has above average art design, playable controls, it's actually a cute fun game but it's just ridiculously easy and absolutely impossible to lose. It's like these games have the cheat codes just automatically built into them now. But that's not to say that young fans of the series won't enjoy Phineas and Ferb across the second dimension. Because it's a neat looking game that captures the spirit of the show and the art design perfectly. In fact, I find the levels in here to be really creative and very fun to look at. Even if the gameplay itself is a bit repetitive. Look out! I really know what we're gonna do today. We're gonna the game can be played one player or two players simultaneously. And if you play one player, as I'm doing here, the second character will be controlled by magic and run along with you. And uh, surprisingly, it gives you some pretty good backup. Mowing down enemies with the giant orange soft drink flamethrower. Gelatin River, Gelatin Mountain, Gelatin Monsters, Gelatin, Gelatin, Gelatin! I'm sick of it! Seriously, did, did they write a letter to Jello? I mean, maybe there's some cross-branding in there, although the gelatin seems to be the bad guy. Maybe that's the problem. You don't want Jello to be your nemesis because you'll never win. It's jiggly and delicious. How can you defeat Jello? There's also a platypus in this game, an underrated animal. They're smarter than dolphins and breathe fire. So in short, if your kids are into the television series, or if you're really into the series, and like a predictable button mashing kind of game where you just run around and collect things, Phineas and Ferb across the second dimension delivers. And it does it with a lot of color on screen all at once, that's for sure. This level's a bit trippy. The game pretty much speaks for itself and works the way that it's supposed to. It's Phineas and Ferb across the second dimension. If you want to turn your kids into unstoppable gaming masters, you buy them a Robotron 2084 arcade machine and tell them they can't eat until they reach level 20. If you want them to endure constant praise and never lose, then you get them games like this, where the object is not to win, it's to collect and spend your time playing it. It's Phineas and Ferb across the second dimension. I would love to see these two travel into the Robotron dimension. They would last... well, they wouldn't even make it out of the first level.